So right now I'm having the uh, great debate. Good morning, Monday morning, April 27th, I think it is. I don't know, I lose track of days with this whole stay at home, lockdown. I know it's Monday. So right now I'm having the uh, great debate. And for those farmers that watch uh, my videos, you know what I mean by do I plant, do I not plant? So I've planted 170 acres of corn so far which equates to about 30% of our acres. And I was gonna put more in today and they upped the rain in the forecast. So there's more rain than I anticipated. And I don't know if I should keep planting corn or wait till after the rain. There was a frost last night. The ground's warm though, warmer. It's not hot by any means. I don't know, I'm gonna go cultivate a little piece uh, that we need to get done and then put the joker on and we'll get joker in another field. And then uh, I'll get the planter set up and finish the field I was working in yesterday. There's only like nine acres left. And we'll go from there and decide what I wanna do. Well, in the cultivator here and only have a few acres left. It, as I said, there wasn't much here. Uh, the most of the field way over there is strip till this area uh, didn't get strip tilled uh, and it got wet last fall and when it got wet you just can't really strip till with our strip till rig so I had to descript the oats and yeah I guess it was just oats here as a cover crop and uh, that's why we're uh, cultivating it here and it's just the second pass to take out the tire marks from picking stones and uh, just leveling up a little bit more, but I only got probably a couple more rounds here and we'll fold it up and we'll get the joker going. Got Jack and the joker. He's done college for a little bit now. His summer semester normally would start uh, shortly uh, he has to usually go to school for May and June but uh, with the current state of affairs he um, his summer semester got postponed and I think he's got to do it July August so he's helping out uh, here now too on the farm until I guess he's got to go back to school and uh, so he's run the Joker because he's done it before uh, Sandy and Jess haven't run the Joker yet and I'm going to try to finish planting some corn, so that's why I got Jack in there doing that right now. So I'm going to move a few branches off the field and Jack will pick away at that.
how deep. Fertilizer? Yeah. Four inches. Four in, four down, four over? Yeah, four down, four over roughly. See it right there. No bit of it. Yep. Ammonium sulfate. Yep. Stinky. Okay. It was too nice of a day not to keep planting corn, so I'm in some trip, trip. I'm in some trip till. I'm in some strip till stuff. And if you can see beside me, probably can't because the exposure. That there right now is the spot I didn't strip till. So I'm planting it right now. That's been strip tilled that I gotta plant yet over there. And that's stuff I planted. So you can see the difference in color. This is lighter over here. That's darker where it's planted. I have to say overall it's going really well. Uh, planting actually nicer than the ground that we worked conventionally. And uh, this reminds me of why I like strip till so much. And why it's part of our farm operation. So, uh, going to work harder at getting more strip till ground ready next year, or I should say this fall for next year, and hopefully all our wheat acres can be strip tilled. Uh, I think that's going to take us getting a bigger strip till rig. Now the one we have right now is six rows, and it just isn't quite big enough to keep up and get it done in a timely manner. So, uh, but we'll. Uh, talk to the boss about that one uh, but I'm gonna turn on the end here and we'll just keep going on picking away at it just wait for four bags of seed but uh, to give you an idea those are the fertilizer openers there and then the seed openers are back a little bit and everything looks to be pretty good as you can see the strip right here um, the fertilizer openers are just on the outside of the strip and then we're planting in the middle of the strip. So, uh, setup's working good. And happy with the placement and everything. Seed's going in nice. Just uh, trying to get done before it wants to rain a little bit. There's a small chance overnight. Um, but yeah, looking good. So got the uh, four bags of corn in. Uh, this year we were planting a lot of different varieties. We're doing a lot of side-by-side -side tests on different hybrids from different companies to see what works best in our system. Last year, uh, with the Alari cart behind me and the planter, 
uh, we decided to move towards uh, planting our corn into the stale strips uh, that we made last fall. So when I got out there, the strips that you see that we were planting in, I made them last fall, we haven't done anything to them, and now we're just planting directly into them uh, using some fertilizer from the LRA cart to give it some nitrogen, uh, phosphorus, and potassium. A little bit of sulfur and a little bit of boron, and a little bit of zinc. Uh, all in a band right beside where we're planting. And we're planting about three inches over uh, from that fertilizer band. Uh, and so that's a system we started doing last year. And our intent with our farm is to always plant into wheat ground that's been strip tilled the fall before into these tail strips. Uh, so we're trying to find the corn varieties that work the best for this. So that's why I have a whole bunch of different tests. And it's been a bit of a chaotic planting process because I'm doing different varieties in different fields with different tillage systems uh, just trying to see what works best. We used to freshen the strips in the spring so we would make them in the fall uh, with the Don Pluribus uh, unit and then in the spring we would pull a Monte cart with a Don Pluribus unit and freshen and fertilize. The problem with that system was it worked but it took two people and sometimes the soil just wasn't quite right and the dawn would get a little too deep and I just found we were making uh, not the best strips or freshen strips to plant into so uh, I find these stale strips are a lot nicer to plant into and it also alleviates one person uh, from the equation in terms of getting spring work done so that's kind of why we went to this system where you see the Alari cart and why it works I think uh, there's a, probably a card I can put in uh, the video where you can see me run the Don Player bus before and that's kind of our old system and this is our new system. So I'm really, really happy with how these strips are planting. And they're planting better than the conventional ground. Uh, I think the cover crops really help with that. The soil, uh, the way it's aggregated, the way the tilth of it's just really nice. So uh, just got about 10, uh, 17 acres left here and I'll finish off this farm and then we'll quit and I think we'll figure out when we're going to plant the rest of the corn because I think it's going to go wet for a couple days but uh, we're doing pretty good. Last pass for the night and then it might be a cold beverage.